I'm hot. All right, for these next ones, I want to act like you guys don't like the photos. Be like, nah, 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 we gotta do it again, all right? What? The okay, are there any? You guys others? ready? Let's do it. Yeah, that was sick. So a good friend of mine named Luke from St. Louis reached out and got hired by a real estate agency who wanted a pretty cool video to showcase on their website as a montage. So with that being said, there wasn't any dialogue that needed to be told and uh, we just didn't have to worry about audio. Besides that montage, Luke also delivered some social media content to them and uh, there was a lot more than, than just this montage video. But I really want to show how we had so much fun, maybe worked a little bit unprofessionally, but ended up with a super professional video that the client was happy with. And it was also a really well-paying job. The only pressure that we really had was kind of a strict timeline. We didn't have a whole lot of time at these homes. Um, and we kind of had to work under pressure of, we didn't know what we were walking into. We didn't know whether the home was furnished, if it wasn't furnished, um, what it really looked like. We had some outside photos uh, just from Google Maps, but we really didn't storyboard. We didn't script anything. We just had some ideas that we wanted to accomplish. And um, I think that we did a pretty good job with that. So my thought process behind this was we had the younger couple, a younger family, and a middle-aged couple. For the younger couple, um, we managed to enter a home that was already furnished. It was completely beautiful. And so we maybe thought, okay, well, the context of the situation could be that the couple just moved in or they've been moved in for about a week or so. Uh, let's order some pizza and just do whatever is authentic. So we did that. Dude, this looks really nice. For the next young family, we had them enter a home which was completely unfurnished that we walked into and we didn't realize it was gonna be unfurnished. So we really had to improvise. Um, and I, I think the first thing that entered my head was what would a family do the second that they enter a brand new home or they're touring a brand new home? I thought, well, you'd probably think of where you would put things, right? You, you come up with this vision of where your desk could go or the couch or the TV. And so the first thing that I had this couple do was act as if they were really going to move into this home and the little girls run through the home as if they were having a ton of fun and it was super cute and worked out really well. Finally, for the third family, they were at their new home and instead of showing the interior of the home, we actually showed the exterior. Such a beautiful place. And as you'll see in the behind the scenes, we just had a lot of fun with it. I wanna establish the location that we're at right now. We can see that we've got this beautiful home. Um, and instead of just kind of doing a, a big dumb wide, as a lot of people say, 
I'm still gonna do a big dumb wide, but there's gonna be some action inside of the scene. So we're gonna have the subject just leaving the home so that there's something that the eye can go to rather than just the house. I don't know who's dog this is that you borrowed, but I need it. Just look at this. So good, all right, continue. Oh my gosh. You know, the home is where the heart is, but the home is not just where the house is, but it's the city that it's within. And that's really what it, we wanted to accomplish. Uh, I mean, we literally just walked by some ice cream in a hot dog stand, so why not show what people would normally do in a park? I think we did a really good job. I'm super happy with it. It was super laid back, a lot of fun and the client seemed to be ecstatic with it as well. So no matter what you're doing, try to always be authentic. Improvise is gonna make you a much better filmmaker rather than fully planning things out. I think if you just go out and do it, you'll uh, take the experience that you got during that shoot and you'll be able to pass it forward to the next one. Okay, that's nice. Yeah. I'm like listening. There you go, that's sick.